Microwave transport is critical to the success of 5G at the backhaul. We've got to get the data from one point to another. Giuseppe's here to tell us more about that. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for coming. So not only is microwave transport critical for CSPs, but we're also seeing enterprise adopt them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, first of all, it's critical and will remain critical for CSP because you need to connect the becalling of 4G and 5G cell. And the more you move to rural site, the more important is to have a becalling solution because not everything is served by fiber. But what we see more and more coming is enterprise demanding for connection to connect mission critical site, for example, where fiber is not available or to build private wireless network that where at the end is like a normal uh, network but you, where you need becalling as well. So definitely, and the microwave is playing a critical role, and we have product as Nokia definitely defined for that market. And I'm looking at the top of this tower here, and that device up there, this is the one that is the most powerful unit on the market. Yes, 37 dBm, I don't, there are no other products in the market with this capability, with this power, and you can reach 40 kilometers with 10 gigabit of bandwidth, so it's an amazing result. It's the effort of uh, many years of development, and we're really so proud. This will help to connect remote site with high bandwidth. And this tower is going to connect the microwave to the RAN. You want to have them close together. Yeah, so, I mean, yes, definitely. And many people think that the microwave is just a dump pipe that you use instead of a fiber. It's much more than this. It, it, it has to become intelligent, an intelligent part of the transport network with 5G. The complexity of 5G does not allow to really consider micro just a pipe. You need to be intelligent. And that means you need to be integrated with the radio transport. And it's not only that the same vendor need to sell microwave and, uh, and radio, but they need to an intelligent protocol that connect the base station to the micro link so that they can talk each other, they can be seen as a part of the same transport domain. And this is actually what we are working on. So then how will the use of E-band create some new opportunities? Well, E-band enable much higher bandwidth. So it allowed to reach 10, 10 gigabit of traffic. If together with carrier aggregation, uh, actually even a long distance like 10 kilometers. So it actually allowed to connect the remote site that are not served by fiber and the 5G site. So it's actually enabled the deployment of 5G where it's not possible. And in some country where there is no fiber, like India or like some country Middle East and Africa, or even remote site in the United States or Canada, without IBAN, you will not be able most probably to complete the rural out and serve all the customer with 5G. So it's an opportunity for the operator, and it's an opportunity for companies like us that are have state-of-the-art product in Iban. Giuseppe, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Mobile World Congress 2022 continues. I'm Michael Hainsworth.